Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Eternia. In the last part, we were on the Orbis Barrier. But then I was looking at my little guide thingy for, you know, my optional stuff, and then I remembered that this is accessible now. So we're going to do this before I forget to. Uh, once you're able to, you know, traverse Inferia as you will with the Veneltia, you want to come here to the crescent-shaped island that I told you was absolutely not important and land here. Because guess what? It is important. The Tomb of Ifreed. Oh yeah. The guy died on Inferia. I mean, um, oh yeah, yeah, Inferia. Wow. Uh. Let's do it. <laughs> there we go. What the cra- Ow, ow, ow. Ow! Quit it! Thank you. Ow! Quit doing that, man. Thunderblade. Kaboom. Very powerful. It's just kind of short range. Ow! Jeez, man, these guys are really tough. Apparently, you want to be careful here because the enemies are a lot tougher than you think. Especially that freaking horse knight. Ow, ow, ow. Maybe I can hit him with Aurora Sword, see how they like it. Oh, no, no, not. Nope. Oh, don't kill me. Alright, now go ahead and use a lemon gel. Thank you. Alright. This is apparently a lot tougher than I remember. Maybe I just came here later. Oh, well. Anyway, down here you still get a ton of experience, and this might actually be a better place to grind than the sunken ship, simply because it's a little bit easier to get in into. Eh, that looks like me! <laughs> just kidding. Anyway. What is this? Talk about poor taste. In, in the interior decoration has absolutely no sense of order nor unity. And this horribly amateurish nude statue of a middle-aged man couldn't possibly be any further from what art should be. Okay. Who could have designed this abomination? Do you really think it's that bad? Yeah, I think it looks sort of fun and exciting. I guess so. This place looks scary. I get a feeling that this place is haunted. <laughs> you get you you're afraid of everything, Reed, and you're always hungry. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and use a holy bottle, because apparently this place is a lot tougher than I thought it was. Uh red sage, let's see. Uh I'll hold on to that. Savory, I'll hold on to those. Those are very important. Hey, you know what? Actually. Why don't I do this? You know, let's take a rune bottle. And I'm going to take this sage that I have. And I want to take this sage and turn it into a savory. There we go. The more savories, the better. Because I might actually... You know that skill I was talking about? The, you know, the super spell that's really difficult to use because enemies die in the middle of it? Because this file is apparently one that I've already beaten before. And because, you know, like, hardcore. Because of that, I might actually be able to do that exhibition video very easily, so who knows. I didn't move one millimeter! Alright, so we got a whole bunch of frogs here. Heal, you're not gonna... Oh, wow, you actually did hit something. Alright, then. Never mind, I stand corrected. I would really love to use Volt, though. That'd be nice. Ow, Thunderblade. Kaboom. Okay, now. Please die. Thank you. Good. It looks like we won! Man, not much experience for that. Holy jeez. That wasn't worth it. Man, I, I said it again. I say that a lot. I never realized it, but oh well. Um, this place is very, very important. Trust me. I forgot about that. If you walk across these bridges, sometimes enemies will automatically jump out at you. They're Medusa's bullfrogs. They're very aggravating. Moving on. Um, this place is very important you want to come here. Trust me. For If you're doing side stuff, come here. Just do it. Um, you're going to need an item from here and an item from another place, and then you can pretty much access everything the game has to offer. So yeah, it'll be very important to come here. Anyway, uh, now they're dead. Let's see. I think we got to like push a statue or something. The door won't open. Okay, fine. Whatever. No, I don't want to go in there. It'd be that. Okay, so go ahead and take this kimono, girl. Um, come on! Oh, I need to press A. I keep thinking I'm playing Tales of Destiny. Jeez. Okay, now. Um, this can be really aggravating. There we go. Um, you heard a sound of something unlatching somewhere. Okay. 
Whatever. <laughs> you gotta admit, that's a pretty dang good animation, though, from a game like this. This hole, I mean. Alright, ow, stop. Thank you, thank you, Keel. For once, you're being useful. And man, I guess Thunderblade isn't as bad as I thought, because he doesn't he hasn't been interrupted it during the casting of it. Reviver Zer. What the frick was that? I don't think I've ever picked up that item. And I, I need to see that. What the heck is that item? A Revivizer. Oh. Press the guard button immediately after an enemy blow to reduce the damage. Revivizer. Huh. I've never had that before. Whatever. I don't know what drops that. I don't know. I'm probably not going to use it. Oh, we've already got a Sephira. Dang. Um, you know what? I'll give him another Sephira. Because I could always use more money. <laughs> Now, now we'll get double the gold. That'll be awesome. All right. How about this door? Yes, it is open. Sweet. There are other items here, but I'm probably just going to pass them up because there's always going to be better items and stuff. Found the captain's hat. Cool. We found Ifrit's beard. <laughs> okay, so be um, beard. Uh, Ifrit ripped his beard off and put it in there. Whatever. An ultimate hat that bears the history and spirit of pirates. Awesome. I believe that is uh, chat's best hat. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, now that we are out of there, put the beard on... Uh, I'll put it on now, sure. You attached Ifrit's beard, and we glued it straight onto a freaking stone statue. Um, okay. We, we have three items to pick up here, I think. I think it's just three. I don't really remember. And I hope to get through here in one video. Jeez, that's a lot of enemies. Alright. Air thrust. Nice. Ow, ow. Okay, now, I'm waiting for... Oh, okay, it's fine. Okay, I'll take Sylph. Ew, that looks nasty. Kaboom. No, no, no. Hey, these are supposed to be Markroids, or whatever. Alright, well, I don't think I'm going to get Aurora Wall this time. I want to really use Aurora Sword again, because that's a really fun attack to use. Even though it's difficult to use, and it's very TP heavy, it's fun to use. Alright, there we go. Kaboom. That was Let's see here. Uh, I don't really know what to do now about this whole uh, exhibition thing. Because basically what happened is that, like, that other file, the one that's already been beaten and stuff. Oh! Fell in a trap door. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I love how they keep talking about how playful Ifrit is, and then he makes a death trap like this. Um... I don't really know what to do because I already have a file prepared and I already took hours and hours and hours of tr grinding to get Merity up to the point where she needs to be to use that skill and then and now I can do it here but it's like I don't have a fake in the other file so I don't know what to use it on aside from like the final boss so I should probably just do that shouldn't I I think I'll just do that I have everything prepared in that file for an exhibition video. I even have everybody available to use their own mystic arts and stuff. I got everything unlocked. That is the perfect file. Boom. And hey, you actually might recognize these enemies as uh, some of the ones we fought in the trailer. So that's cool. I remember that I was killing that bird, the storm claw, with a, uh, a spear. Oh, hey, we got a new skill. Cool. What is it? Oh, and we're not getting double galled either. That sucks. Uh, what skill did I just get? Anything good? Uh, we got... Oh! Demon Spiral Hammer. Okay, that's cool, I guess. I need to get Omega Tempest Strike, though. And I need a lot of uses of Tempest Strike for that. Ow. Oh, well. If I don't get to show everything in this file, I'll just show it in an exhibition video. That's that's fine. An All Divide. People have... Uh, well, I got one comment about an All Divide, so I guess I'll go ahead and talk about that, because I don't really have anything else to talk about. Um, the All Divide is basically an item that makes it so that enemies, that you and your enemies both do half damage. So, in this game, they weren't very useful because no one really does enough damage to warrant their use. Now, enemies in Tales of Vesperia, on the other hand, like the boss is on Unknown, that is very, very helpful because basically, 
if you go in some of the cameo fights in that game on unknown, you can be killed in like literally one combo. So you have to have that all divide active, otherwise you won't even have enough time to get anything off and then start comboing your enemies and stuff. You'll just drop dead. But uh, as I said, in this game, there's nothing really powerful enough to really need you to use it, so don't bother with them. Uh, life bottle on heal, please, Merity. Please, Merity. Thank you. Because even though I don't like him, he shouldn't miss out on experience. There we go. Nice, and we all leveled up. Dang, we got 12,000 gold from that. Holy jeez. <sighs> People said I should have a counter for that, and I'm kind of agreeing now. Um, okay. You, please use nurse. <laughs> you, use nurse. Um, ah. Ah. Don't attack me. Okay, so we got through in just one attack. That's not bad. You know what? I'm actually going to run, because I don't want to fight these guys. I'm getting tired of fighting. Ah, well, you know what? This will be easy. Man, he's already dead. Guy took two hits and he just dropped. Man, these starfish are still alive? Screw you. Kaboom. How long is it going to take you for charge up fold, man? Jeez. Freaking slow. Oh, well. Anyway, get out of here. There we go. What is this? Is it important? Didn't think so. Um, I right hear... Ow, it's too hot. Okay. Thank you. So just go ahead and shoot fire at it. And that's a big old pot of stew up there. Kind of makes me think of the pot of stew in Twilight Princess. Hey, what's this? You found Ifrit's hat. Woo! Awesome. That is two of three now. Ugh. After this, you never really have to come back here for, every, for anything. So don't worry about this place too much, even if you do hate it. Ow, ow, ow. Let me out. Thank you. I hate those Revenant guys. They're really powerful. All right. Uh, I need to use a Holy Bottle. Um, Holy Bottle. There it is. All right. Let's get moving. Come on. Ah, thank you. Yes. Got out. All right. Now, let's put the hat back. All right. You attached I free tat and the rest of his hair. All right. What's this? Arr! Okay. Well, wait. Was that... Is that Jason? Or Michael Myers? What the heck? Okay, whatever. Um, is that what I think it is? Is that a Farrah bobblehead right there? On that table? Do you see it? Um, hi. <laughs> Ifrit is so cool. Um, until he starts dropping guillotines on you. Alright, uh, what's this? Treasure chest with a fake! Oh no! Why are there so many fakes here? Alright, I'm getting out of here. I'm not fighting another fake. I don't want to get owned by a box. Anyway. Alright, so go ahead. Oh no! A monster. <laughs> this place kind of makes me think of Namco Banda Isle. Alright. Oh, now this is kind of annoying. It's actually really annoying now that I think about it. Because I never really... I never would have expected this from anything. Ooh! We got a gnome summon. Or, uh, ow, Dark Force. No, ow! You know what? Fine. We're doing this. We're summoning Volt. Just for you guys, we're summoning Volt. Alright, so, the Revenant. Yeah. Kabam! <laughs> I love that, though, like the little Volt balls. Volt is so powerful, his balls deal 500 damage. Now, whatever. So yeah, Volt Summon it is pretty cool. It's just, eh, I think it, it's okay. It's good that it affects the whole battlefield, though. I do like that. But it's just, it's just another summon to me. I heard somebody say that they thought that Volts was the best, but that's just my opinion. I think it's just, you know, just another summon. Okay. So that poisoned me, I think. Uh, or did it just damage me? No, it just damaged me. All right. Um, moon cloak that goes to Merity, of course. Oh wait, was it a moon robe? Oh, it was a moon robe. Okay, a, ro a robe embroidered with the moon stones that emits light. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm gonna give him back his protect ring. Let's see, where is it? There it is. What does this say? When a figure is in your path, call upon the power of ice, and it will lose its means to block you. Okay, whatever. 
now. Uh, for this part, you want a holy bottle. All right, now stop with that. Now, this monster here, he's going to try to chase you around. But if you can... Ah, stop that. It's annoying. There you go. You want to try to screw him over like that. Now he's stuck up there and he can't get you. Haha. -ha. Anyway, I think that guy will, like, kick you out of the area if he actually, like, catches you. So don't try to not get touched by him. Otherwise, you'll get knocked out of this room and you'll have to come back in. So anyway... Um, after you do that, um, you want to chain... Okay, here, we'll talk to the teeth. I seek blood at night. Give me the blood of a beautiful girl. So, you're supposed to interpret that as change your beginning party member, like your first party member, to a girl. Then you can walk through. I don't... I Maybe I'm just stupid, but I, didn't, I never got that when I played on my game. I didn't really expect them to think of that. Anyway, Red Bellabane, very nice. Ow, I just got bombed by a mummy. Best movie ever. Whatever. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. And no, I don't think the mummy is the best movie ever. I'm just saying that, like, a mummy throwing bombs at people would be the best movie ever. But anyway. Alright. Let's go, 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 go. There we go. And hey, we're almost done here. It only took one video, which is good. I'm very glad that I can get through here in one video. Wait, did I just skip it? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. We found Eifried's clothes. Sweet. And here is a lasagna's dress. Okay. <laughs> We're going to give that to Merity, if she can wear that. Uh, no, she can't. Oh, is that... Wait. What? Who, who is that for? An old, worn-out dress. Oh, okay. So, I can't... I can't equip that. All right, well... Oh, wait. Weapon... Is it... It's just an item. Okay. Is it down here? Aha, it is. That's weird. Well, whatever. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I ever got around to using that myself in my first playthrough. But anyway, give him Eifried's clothes. You attach Eifried's clothes. The path is opened. Sweet. Let's go on down. What do we have here? We have a chest. What does it contain? The Light Sphere. Awesome. That is one of two that are very, 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 very important for side questers. Ugh. Monsters! Stop it! Ah! Oh. All right. All right. Well, thank you for the heals. That's nice. Here we go. And everybody got healed before we even escaped. Very nice. Okay. So now we're out of there. We never need to go back there again. Okay. So now that we're done there, we're gonna head back to the Orbis Barrier because we got something to do before we end it off again because. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm not going to go into the observatory in this video either, just because that took so long. It took 20 minutes to do, but I will show you what that white sphere is for. So, I need to go back to the relay point, and please hurry up. OMG, thank you. Okay. Uh, inverse dome. Alright, so now we need to go into the conversion dock. And we need to take that white sphere, and we need to put it... Uh, is it here? Yes, it looks like a slot for inserting some kind of spherical object. Okay, it's not that one. Let's insert the sphere of light. Ding! That is the first sphere. There is but one more sphere to get. But we're not going to be seeing it for a long, long time. So, um, we're in the inferior side, so we'll turn it to the Celestia side. Okay. So, we're going to head out onto the barrier surface and just outside of the, you know, the Seyford Observatory again. And then next time, we'll actually go inside of it. Sorry I couldn't get that done in this video, but I just didn't really expect the Tomb of Ifrit to take that long. But, oh well, I'm just glad I got it done. Needed to get it done before I forgot about it. That was my biggest worry. But anyway, next time, we'll go to the Seyford Observatory. So anyway, see you guys then.